certainly know that the temperatures were low, but the crowds are still thick out there. Meteorologist Daniel Graves is here with a check of the forecast for the rest of your Fat Tuesday. Daniel. Oh, ready for the cleanup because all <laughs> the king cake that I have eaten this carnival season, it is time to start eating a little bit better. So looking forward to tomorrow. As we look at temperatures tonight, they are going to be dropping. And so freezing temperatures expected for parts of our area. Here's a live look outside. The official sunset of Mardi Gras 2019 was at 602 and this is a beautiful shot of the sky here. Temperatures though are going to be dropping now that that sun has set. It's 50 degrees right now at the Kenner Airport. Wind out of the north at 10 and that breeze has been a factor for all the parades today and it's going to make it feel even colder tonight. Freeze warnings in effect from 9 o'clock tonight until 9 a.m. Wednesday for the areas highlighted in purple. You'll want to protect pets, plants and people as we'll see those temperatures below freezing for a good three to six hours. Right now we're just seeing some 40s to right at 50 degrees closer down toward the lake. From 24 hours ago though, we're actually a little bit warmer in most areas and that's signifying a weather pattern change for us in the coming days. Wednesday will still be chilly in the mid to the upper 50s, but winds will shift back to the south and the warmth and humidity will return. Again, we're back into the upper 70s by the end of the week. So satellite and radar has been quiet for us today. No rainfall to worry about. Some clouds have been trying to fill in, but they'll continue to thin out tonight, leaving us with a mostly clear sky, and that's what's going to allow those temperatures to really cool off. So a little bit of cloud cover right now across parts of the South Shore down toward the coast. If you're heading out this evening, a partly cloudy sky. Winds will remain breezy out of the north, 10 to 15 miles per hour. As we go toward the 11 o'clock hour around midnight, Temperature of 43, but with the wind, it's going to be making it feel on both sides of the lake between the upper 20s to the low to mid 30s. So if you are going to be heading out tonight or early in the morning, make sure you have those jackets. Rain chances we're staying rain free throughout the end of the week, but unfortunately, as you're making your plans for next weekend, that's going to be our highest rain chance over the weekend. Thunderstorms are going to be possible both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures warm though back in the mid to the upper 70s. The timing for this rainfall, a cold front will be moving in. As we go into the afternoon and evening on Saturday, we'll start to see those rain chances increasing overnight into Sunday morning. That front will be moving through. We'll see drier conditions arrive as we go into the afternoon and evening on Sunday. We'll also be monitoring that threat for a strong to severe storm. So we'll keep you updated on that forecast as we go throughout the rest of the week. And an early reminder for you that we are springing forward already on Sunday at 2 a.m. Your new sunrise 716 a.m. And the sun won't be setting until 705. And that reminder spring begins in 15 days on March 20th. But with the 70s returning in a couple days, It'll be feeling like spring once again. Overnight tonight, a clear sky, cold temperatures, 20s to the upper 30s, but the wind chill again will be making it feel much colder with that wind out of the north 10 to 15 miles per hour. We'll start to see the wind not being much of a factor tomorrow as they drop to 5 to 10 miles per hour. Overall, though, a nice day for your Wednesday. High temperatures in the mid to the upper 50s. Your seven day forecast showing dry conditions through Friday and the warm up commences as you see upper 70s through the weekend. Lesser rain chances arrive early next week.